ho, ho. What's up, you guys? It's your girl D, aka Destiny, and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Dynamic D, where you can find all things me. Today is day six of Vlogmas and day 22 of becoming a morning person. I woke up before my alarm today. I think it was like 6 15, 6 20 when I actually woke up, and I've been editing videos and trying to get stuff uploaded since I woke up this morning. So it is no longer morning time, it is the afternoon. I believe it's like 12 or 1 ish now that I'm starting this video. And I'm in a rush yet again. My schedule has been so hectic since December started. Oh my God. I feel like I'm all over the place. But every day I'm making progress and I'm getting shit done. So I'm already dressed today. I'm laying my wig right now as y'all can see. And today uh, we're doing something that I have wanted to do for a long, long time. We're going to see the WWE, baby. Monday Night Raw is in Memphis tonight, and me and my best friend are going. But before we do that, I'm going to go get my nails done because this nail here is cracked and it's about to break off. And it's just old. Like, this set is just old. I need to fill in. I need to get my feet done. And um, I don't know if the nail shop is packed or not. So I'm trying to hurry up and finish getting ready so I can get there as early as possible just in case they take a long time. So I'll come back to y'all once I'm ready to go or once I get to the nail shop. I don't know. But yeah. We lit. All right, y'all. I'm all ready to go. Today's outfit is something simple. Two-piece set Crocs because I'm just going to the nail shop right now. Um, I don't think I'm going to change. I think I'm just... I just want to be more comfortable today so yeah today's fit is something y'all already seen this was in my fashion overhaul if you haven't watched that video go watch that video but we are on our way out to the nail salon Okay, y'all I got plain white coffin nails because I didn't have time to do anything else I made the plans with my best friend last night and we agreed to meet at 5 o'clock so we can go down there and get there early then as soon as I get in the nail salon he gonna text me something about I need you to meet me at 4 o'clock because we gotta go here before we go there what what it was 3 something and he talking about I need you to meet me at 4 they ain't even they ain't even started on my clothes yet. What are you talking about? Ugh. So every time I talk to y'all, I'm in a rush. I'm in a rush again. It is um I don't even know what time it is. It's 4:30. And I'm rushing to get to his house so we can leave to go to Memphis. Ugh. But I did I did a uh, solar power solar power solar powder colored white powder on my hands and I did gel polish on my toes both white um I went long because it's my birthday this weekend but I didn't have time to get my designs so I'm gonna have to come back Thursday to get my designs for my birthday and yeah so once I get to my best friend's house we're gonna be on our way to monday night raw i'm so excited y'all i've always wanted to go and see them wrestle in person because i feel like it's much better than watching on tv even though i don't watch wrestling anymore that was something i did when i was like a child i always still wanted to go in person and today we're doing it so i'm gonna see y'all a little bit later on once i'm no longer in a rush and probably once we're already down there so bye Okay, y'all, we made it downtown. We just got our parking. We're finna, well, we just parked and we're finna pay for parking now. Ooh, it's cold. Me and my best friend matched on accident. We're both wearing black and white. What time is it? It's 6.01, so we got an hour before the show. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm hungry for their corn food. Mm-hmm. I guess we gonna get at the concession stand. But yeah, I'll see y'all when we get inside. Okay, we made it inside. We're walking around to our section yeah. now. We gotta get some food. I'm talking about my it's stomach. Right here. Where? Food right here. Then I see some in this section. Oh, okay, bet. 
We didn't have to walk too far. But it's freezing outside. Is this the line for the food? Mm hmm Oh no, baby. Everybody home is it like Everybody want a little. Everybody want a little snack. I should have ate before I came. I feel like a kid again, guys. I really do. Oh, look at his man. I should have got me one of them and got all the way in the spirit. Okay, but I see y'all once we get to our seats. Y'all, this is so nice. I got cheeseburger and fries. Look, you got chicken tenders and fries. And boy, like. And there. I got a regular soda. But look how close we are. This is the. Okay, y'all, this was the arena. As soon as they started going live on TV, everybody was up cheering. It was so fun. And then they let down the cage because the first real match of the night was the championship between Big E and KO. And y'all, I don't know these people because I don't watch WWE, but Big E was black. And they said he know John Cena. So I was like, yeah, he plugged in. He finna win. That's who I'm going for. And he had already won the title. So I was like, yeah, definitely going for Big E, period, as I should. And then they put um they put KO on the screen and he was talking smack, talking about Big E's just holding the title for me, but it's really mine and I'm gonna punish him and all this other stuff. I was like, girl, who is he talking about? And apparently KO is shady child. He he tricked the other contestant that was up for the title into disqualifying himself so that he could be the only one in the match. And I was like, mm mm. Mm, child WWE got some tea going on but yeah he came out there and he was talking all that smack and the first thing he did the very first thing he did as soon as they rung the bell was run and try to get out the cage girl yeah that's what I said so the first match was very entertaining but after he stopped running he did put up a fight girl you see how he jumped on top of Big E like that but you know my dog Big E had to kick out of it as he should per. And I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. It was some points in the match where I was like, dang, Big E, is you gonna pull through for your girl or not? Like, what's going on? Because he was getting his ass beat just a little bit. I Like, I can't even stunt. But he did come back and slam the fuck out of KO as he should. And KO tried to get him. He tried to uh, make a little comeback and grab his leg as he was trying to get out the cage. But y'all know my boy Big E was not having that. He too strong. They said he can live like 573 pounds. I said, 500? That boy, that boy a monster, okay? You cannot play with Big E. And he tried to grab his leg as he was getting out the ring finna win the match. And you know my boy Big E was not having that. Y'all gotta know, kicked him, kicked him again, kicked him again, kicked him again, and got up on out there and won that thing. And after that, my girl Bianca Belair came out. They told me she from Tennessee and she she black too. So y'all know I'm rooting for everybody black. I was rooting for Bianca Belair as I should. She came out swinging that extended braided ponytail. I was like, okay, yo, yo, I see you. And then she got a text. She didn't even get to finish her intro, y'all. That made me so mad. I felt like that girl had came at me. I felt like she attacked me like that. So this was my reaction when that happened. And I did not know Bianca's opponent, but somebody in the audience was calling her Do. So I was calling her Big Body Do. And baby, when I tell you Big Body Do was doing what she had to do to Bianca, she was. Like, look at this, y'all. She was slamming, slamming on Bianca. Oh, 
That hurt in my heart to see that. Bianca Loki was getting her ass whooped. I can't even I can't even lie to y'all. I was a little disappointed to see that. But when it was all said and done, my girl Bianca came through. And when she started getting a little hype, she started doing her little tricks in the ring. She was taunting her. And then guess what y'all? Just guess. Big body do gave up. Walked out, quit on her, didn't even finish the match. So Bianca won by default. And after that, we got some classics that came out, y'all. Rey Mysterio, Mr. 619 himself came out with his son. He was my favorite when I was a kid. And they beat some shit. They was a tag team. Uh, Rey Mysterio didn't even have to get in the ring. His son had to do it all. He did what he had to do. That match was over quick. I couldn't even get no footage on it. And then Edge came out. Randy Orton was there. Jared King Lawler was there. He didn't get in the ring, but they put him on the screen. I didn't get no footage of that. And then the main event that happened was the women's WWE Championship against Liv Morgan and Big Time Beck. Baby, they was going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. I know they, they both of them need a chiropractor after that match. Oh, Jesus. And Liv got her little curb stomping on the side of the ring, honey. I was like, oh, good Lord. The ref ain't going to do nothing. That ain't a foul. Jesus. But, child, they just kept going back and forth. One slapped the other. The other slapped the other. They jump on top of another top rope, bottom ropes. Slap, kick, punch, hold, submission, all that girl. They was whoo fighting for their life in that ring. But at the end of it all, big time back, she was the one who already had the title and she won at the end. She put that thing down, flipped it and reversed it and got on up out of there with the title child. Hey y'all, we leaving now. Oh my goodness, I did not expect that to be like that. It's like going to the circus. They was high flying and kicking and jumping and flipping and all kinds of things. I don't even watch wrestling, but I want to watch wrestling now. Like, if you ain't been to see WWE, baby Raw is waiting for you. You got to go, see that. As soon as they come back, we going next time when they come back too, cause I'm undefeated. I'd have been there. Well, How the last two been? times they've been The last here, two? Been. I should have went with you. I don't miss one. Y'all don't know what y'all missing out on. Y'all got to come see the raw, baby. Because it's raw. And I'm still hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I really am. I think it's because I didn't eat nothing until we got down here. <laughs> but yeah, it's cold, well, so I'm going to see y'all in a minute. You're getting on 51 on the way home. You want to stop somewhere. Yeah, let's stop somewhere to eat. I ain't no open McDonald's and shit though. I don't know. I need some. But I, I'm gonna see y'all later. Okay, y'all. I'm back home again. We did stop at McDonald's and get some food, and it was low key on the off. <laughs> my my nuggets was cold and just like yeah. But <laughs> I'm back home now, and I'm super super sleepy. I had so much fun at monday night raw y'all i'm telling you if you have not been you need to go especially if you have kids like it was so entertaining like i don't even i literally do not even watch wrestling and i was entertained it was amazing but i do have a joke for y'all today <laughs> okay this was kind of dirty <laughs> Why does Santa Claus go to strip clubs <laughs> to visit all his ho ho hoes? <laughs> Y'all, I love dad jokes. Oh my God. But obviously, if you made it this far into the video, you love it here, sis. You loving it, sir. So you might as well press that subscribe button, leave a like and a comment, and I will see y'all in the next one. Period.